an ecosystem in this geodesic dome that will allow us to grow our own produce 365 days a year, even in Canada. Last week we constructed the exterior of the greenhouse and this week we're gonna bring the inside to life. Time to get the door on the geodesic dome greenhouse. Have you ever installed the door, Crystal? Never in my life. That makes two of us. Let's hope it fits. No, that's even worse than we had it. What the heck? Same as last time. It's working. No, it's worse. Oh, oh no, it's better. Purple. Can you not, not stand in front of exactly you? The oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's You did it again! Oh no, we're we got a wide angle. Nothing to good. see here. <laughs> Just a messed up door. Oh no. No, worse. What is going on? I hate doors. One eternity later. Shots! Woohoo! Yes! Are you happy? I'm pretty happy. Yep. That's perfect. Thank goodness. We've been like perfectionists until all this point, so. We? We installed the door! Woo! It sure is trapping the heat, eh? Oh my goodness. It's like this, a wall. This is gonna be perfect for hot yoga. <laughs> right here. Right, Belle? You do yoga? Incoming! <gasps> what is it? Broccoli salad. Hot build days call for cold food in the shade. You put a lot of nice stuff in here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, classic broccoli salad. This Onion, is not a classic. This is a crystal special. Pine nuts, cranberries, cheese, bacon. Before we can start building the beautiful garden beds in here, we need to do one thing because it's literally not bearable building a greenhouse in the middle of summer, not to mention the middle of a heat wave. So, we have two things to install that are gonna make it much cooler for us. Crystal said she was going up there and I didn't believe her. And she is on top of the dome! I need the driver. Atta girl! You went up without your tools! Doesn't matter, still proud of you for going up. Do you want me to do it or are you not feeling, you know, feeling good, eh? I don't know anymore. I'm like, I was chill and now I'm just not. I think it's because you I was- Because your foot! Take your foot off the door and let's go! Let, let's get these feet off the ground, ready? No, I'm not ready, Jack. <sighs> Don't do this to me. You do this thing to me where you make me feel like I'm doing something crazy because I'm high because I never do this. And then I get so freaked out well, and in most my people head. wouldn't go on top of this. You're not helping me. Oh, You're doing great. Keep going. <sighs> Anytime I want to go up a ladder, you're always like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to wait and see this. And here we are. Yes! The feet are off, everyone! <laughs> She's gone. Stop! It. You make me sweat about it. <laughs> How much weight can these hold again? <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm really just sitting on this slack line watching Crystal. Oh my goodness. I'm really proud of her though. Like, this is good. You're conquering a fear. I feel like I'm on the CN Tower glass walk. <laughs> Crystal's finishing it all off. I cannot wait to show you these fans. They are super impressive. These are the fans. Oh, wow. Solar fans, everyone. Yeah, like this would be amazing for in the cabin right now. I was like, oh, that's a new sound. <laughs> So you call an early work day.
We made it. Nature. She's nice. I love how much the girls love the UTV, but I love this lake. It's so just so nice. nice. There's no one, there's no one here. There's so many of these lakes too in Nova Scotia. We're at least, well, at least where we live. Yeah, it's true. Our friends have been showing us all the spots. There's so many good spots. We've been a perfect fit. We're a perfect fit. Your lips on my lips. Long with me and I be long with you Like a fire on a cold night Like Sinatra on a long drive You be long with me and I be long What a neat tool box. You really know you love someone when you do the tasks you hate the most. Always takes a lot longer than expected, but it looks fabulous. I even went the extra mile and did the trim. I honestly feel like this dome was meant to be white. I think Crystal's really gonna like it too. Wow, look at it! Dome! That's how long painting takes. Mom's already home! Izzy's right up there, right? Yeah, as soon as I turn down the driveway, they hear me, they just come running. Running. Here we go, Izzy's driving. Izzy's driving. So you you painted. Do you like it? It looks super good. It's so clean, eh? I like it. I'm obsessed. Good job. Thank you. It literally took me the entire time you were gone. I bet. I love painting. You love it. <clears throat> Only for you. Back on the job site. With Back our, on the site. With our professional caulker. Yep. What are we doing? We are installing our vent fans today. Today is the day. Yay. This is by far, I would say, one of the most like intricate projects we've ever done. When you say- 100%. Like the detail, the attention to detail, and like the, there's so many components that make it work, that it's just, it's, inter it's interesting. Like we built this whole thing and it's so cool. <laughs> like we're this far. So many steps. We are actually so close to we're building an ecosystem, like yeah. technically. So you yeah. have to. Well said. There's a lot of a lot of things you got to make sure are making it a happy ecosystem. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like I didn't expect it to be like so many steps that you do yourself, but it's really cool to be a part of every single step. I agree. I think that's perfect. Let's put them in. So basically, two fans, one and two. It kind of works like similar to van life fans when people have two on the roof. You make one suck air in and one suck air out. Then it creates circulation. Chris has already got the ladder. Are you going up? Thank you. You are welcome. Go ahead. <laughs> mm. oh, Lifting it. Yeah, you have a ladder. Use the steps. I'm letting go. Lift up like this. I'm holding it down. Two hands. I have it's it. on my ladder desk. It's okay, Crystal. Stop freaking out. I am. Wow, you're a thinker. Woo! Just like that. 
like that, I guess. Holy sh! Did we just do it? You want to know one thing I really love about you? What? <laughs> How confident you are. <laughs> it doesn't. It's already tilted, Jazz. <laughs> it's on a perfect angle to the sun that goes this way. If you tilt it up no, more. No, it's absolutely happening. Come on! <laughs> oh my god. Get confident. Down. Get down already. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but we cut all these sheets. It's now nighttime. Oh, Izzy doesn't like it. Oh, I snapped one in half. Eh? Izzy's scared of it. I'm sorry, Izzy. This is your new home. This is your big dog house. Oh, she's like, let me the f out of here. <laughs> all right, we're insulating the perimeter walls. We definitely lost you, but we're using the two inch rigid foam board that we just cut and we're going to do the entire perimeter. Oh, and we're half in our PJs. <laughs> It's like 11.30 at night, so. <laughs> you might as well get comfy. So let me show you the way. This is the way. This is the way. You go in at the corner. Yeah. Kick it in. You kick it in. You wanna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what you don't do, actually. <laughs> I'll take that one. This is the way. Nice. Who would have guessed a hammer over a foot? Nice one! You got it. Got it, girl. Good morning! breakfast gone <laughs> but on today's agenda we are building a pool a pool everyone gone. a pool they call it a pool in the instructions you should know that instruction follower reader no, they, don't. they do really really the pool what? I swear my life I've read the instructions you don't think I have but I have anyways <laughs> Pond. It's a pool. This is pond. It's a pool. Anyways, we're installing a pool pond and it is going on the north wall. This is going to help with heating and cooling in the summer. So it's a super important step. But we literally need water to fill this pond. And Adam is here wiring up our 240 volt plug for our well. To help us get water for the very first time out of our well at the cabin. I can't even believe it. The water's flowing. So oh my fun. god. <laughs> Having a shower. Ah. Woo! <laughs> That's beautiful oh, too. Adam, thank you god. so much. Yeah. We have freaking water. It's so exciting. We haven't stopped talking about it. We are smiling ear to ear. It's just the coolest feeling ever to finally see water come out of our drilled well that we drilled last year. It's surreal. I honestly am in shock. I don't believe it. It's just gonna make life so much easier. We can shower whenever we want. We can wash dishes with it. We can- Oh my God, <laughs> dishes! Everything. We've been lugging water from a spring that's very far away. Two hours of driving. It's kind of, I actually have no words. <laughs> thank you, Adam. Yeah, thank you Thank you, so plumbers. Much. Thank you, everyone that has helped us get to this point. Yeah, huge. All of you are tuning in, too. Huge. Couldn't do it without all your views. Oh my gosh, and so amazing. Comments and ideas. Monster generator, 240 volt, obviously pretty extreme. Monster electrician. Yeah. And in it's, a good way. It's, a, like it's <laughs> a monster of a water pump like it's just it's big stuff and i think the coolest part is that it's fully safe fully fused with a yeah. 30 amp i watch a little a lot of makeshift videos on youtube that you can like splice 240 extension cords and stuff but it's done right it's done right adam thank you oh i'm so excited i can't believe it best day i'm best so day happy ever. oh my god this is gonna be the best day ever this is gonna be the best Wake up, top of the morning The bacon is crispy, the coffee is pouring My meditation is peeling an orange The bank says I'm already scoring I got a parking spot right outside Step into my brand new ride All we ever get is green lights and blue skies This is gonna be the best day ever You got me looking so fresh I can't get no better Maybe I'm a T-Rex Every 
time we complete a step, we literally just walk out here, read the next step. <laughs> it's so hot in there. I can't even. Oh. Can we start yet, boss? Uh, take that as a no. <laughs> hmm. We need to take the second piece of four by 10 galvanized sheet metal. And then we need to use the fancy little brackets that we used earlier to pre-drill the holes to connect it. And then basically, you have the structure of an above ground pond, pool, whatever you want to call it. Just wanted to remind you all to subscribe! <laughs>pretty intimidated by this step. We heard it was pretty hard to make the pond, but it's actually been really smooth and easy so far. So what are you guys doing? Just keeping Bella busy as I shovel. <laughs> Look at her. She's really just like a little toddler. Go, 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 Distracted. Already no. lying down. You must have had a good run, Bear. Wow. Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy. Come see Mama. Come on. Oh, good girl. Follow your runway. Crystal, your runway. Izzy, your runway. Oh yeah, Princess Izzy in the house. This right here is the pool liner and it's super heavy. Looks like we need to unfold it and refold it so it will fit perfectly in the pond. That means we're almost close to water, everyone. Oh. Oh okay, you can disregard absolutely everything I said earlier about the pond being the easiest part. The liner was really heavy and really hard to put in. That probably took me like 45 minutes. And in that time, Jasmine made dinner. Tacos! Hard shell for Jasminda. Soft shell for Cristalina. Wow, gracias. <laughs> De nada. So are you a hard shell or a soft shell kind of person? We asked two years ago on the channel and it was a debate. And now we have like, I think we had like 20K there. Now we have like 280, so like, that's wild. 280,000. Thousand people. Thank you all. That's so wild. I can't yeah. even comprehend. So let's re-vote. Soft or hard? Hard, hard, hard. Soft, soft, soft. Team Jazz or Team Crystal? Just kidding. <laughs>
We are here. There's nothing we love more than not hitting up the local Home Depot and getting locally sourced lumber. It's such a different feeling and it's so much more economical. Did I mention, we think it looks way better. It will always be Raybar to me. <laughs> Appreciate the pronunciations because we all know these projects <laughs> we require a lot of Raybar. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow. Okay, we are cruising along here, Jazzy. Cruising on cruise control. Five walls done. Going a buck twenty. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's very Canadian. I think a buck twenty. Is it? So one wall continue all the way around. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna grow all around the outside edges of the greenhouse. And then eventually we're gonna do something in the center. Hot yoga baby. And a tree. Hot yoga is gonna be a golden. Yeah, this I is I cannot all, wait. This will be a naked hot studio. yoga. Because <laughs> yeah. there's no yeah. yoga teacher. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> Last piece. Jasmine's just taken off to the hardware store because we were short on some of the perforated piping that we're putting in the beds for the ventilation system. In the meantime, I'm going to fill the beds as much as I can until she gets back with all types of material because we are going to do Hugel culture once again, filling the bottom with nutrient dense material that will break down over time and feed back the soil for years to come. We've done this in the past and it is a great way to fill these ginormous beds as if we were just to put soil or anything else in there, it would take a lot of it and it wouldn't have the same effect. Check it out. Nice. -y. That is some delicious premium quality triple mix soil. They dropped it off in a tandem truckload. We've got a massive mound of it to join all the other mounds of mulch and quarry rock and everything we else going on. We have a lot to take care of. This is a lot of topsoil, but those are some big beds and we've got some big garden dreams on our hands here. So let's get wheelbarrowing. <laughs> Gorgeous, it's organic gardening soil. I'm learning all about the differences because I was gonna order topsoil, but this is made to grow vegetables. You're so happy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who are you? That just got me fired up. Just lift a full wheelbarrow. My tractor. You're my tractor. Ooh la la. I don't think you've ever looked better. Taking a break while Krista gets here. So tired already. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, I lift my arms? <laughs> I can do it. No, it's because I'm tired. <laughs> Remember when we thought we'd be done this in a week? <laughs> L M F A O R O F L. <laughs> I still can't believe we have water. <laughs> Might as well get this full while we're uh, while we're putting all the soil in. Let's see who. Uh, this bolts are gonna take a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's another late night working on the greenhouse. It's so beautiful in here. I know. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. Yeah, it's so nice. Finally, everything in here is working together to get these plants growing and thriving. From the pond to the air ducting and the sunlight that's coming through here and becoming trapped, these plants are gonna grow and they're gonna be beautiful and they're gonna keep us full all winter. This corner is entirely herbs as we told you, but with a tangerine tree. So this is gonna keep growing all throughout the winter as we'll have supplemental heat 
and we're gonna have some citrus. Wish us luck. <laughs> Microgreens, we are gonna grow as many microgreens as possible. They are good for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ground cherries gonna grow up. We are planting everything else in the greenhouse from seed. So it's gonna be from seed to table, which is super, super cool. And then over here we have carrots, all different types of beans and peas. What else do we have here? Eggplant and cucumbers and lemon cucumbers. If you've never heard of a lemon cucumber, you gotta Google it or you gotta hold on until we have some fruit and I'm gonna show you. This is the leafy greens. So we've got tons of kale, chard, lettuce, arugula, even some dino kale and one cabbage. We're gonna try and grow a cabbage. <laughs> and that's mostly for you. Thank you. <laughs> Purple cabbage. Our goal is to keep the greenhouse as green as possible. So we have some mint and lavender that we will also be using for edible purposes. And, and for pollinators. And yeah, for to bring those pollinators in here. It smells so delicious already. You can smell the lavender. It's a beautiful thing. And we brought the ferns in because we think they're gonna be a lot happier in here with the moisture and just the uh, the amount of attention everything's gonna get in here, they're not gonna be neglected anymore, if I'm gonna yeah, be honest. No. <laughs> you should tell them all about that. Yeah, okay. All right, this is the first time we've ever grown these, but these are nasturtiums, and they're gonna grow up this beautifully. The leaves and the flowers are edible. Can you just imagine eating one of these beautiful flowers in a salad or eating the greenery? Taste What's test? Right? What does it taste like? Peppery. Or I don't even know how to, yeah, it's so peppery. I remembered, yeah, it's peppery, it's spicy. Wow. Imagine that, like in a salad. That's delicious. Mm-hmm. Do you taste a pepper? Or in a sandwich? Mm-hmm. Or in anything. Can I Full of flavor. Thanks. Full of flavor. I'm really excited to see how this comes together. Me too. Good work this week. You too. See you all Sunday. See you Sunday. Ciao.